El Paso Locomotive FC has seen short turnarounds before, but nothing quite like this. After taking the pitch for the first time in four months on Saturday, Locomotive will be right back out there tomorrow night, just four days later, and they're going to be doing so in 100 degree temperatures again, I might add. You know this squad isn't complaining, though, as they put the finishing touches on their game plan at this morning's practice at Southwest University Park. They're going to have their hands full with a really good New Mexico United team who, like El Paso, is coming off a win on Saturday. It's group play, which has some added importance, and of course, it's New Mexico United. It's a rivalry. Anytime you play a game where the, the team is close, uh, I think it gives, you know, not only us, but the fans as well, uh, a little platform to kind of increase the, uh, the excitement around the game. I think the proximity does have to do with it, but I think the fan base, uh, both fan bases are, you know, some of the best in the league, and, um, you know, the dislike in between both of them is, you can feel it, and definitely feel it on the pitch as well, so um, there's definitely that rivalry that exists, and it's a, it's a healthy rivalry. Omar Salgado back from a two-game suspension. He'll be in action tomorrow night. In other locomotive news, the team has signed Leandro Carrillo from Liga MX side FC Juarez, a prolific goal scorer, having scored 72 goals in 102 appearances with FC Juarez. The Brazilian gives this team another reliable striker who fits the style, but most importantly, it strengthens this relationship with FC Juarez. There's a lot of good players that they have, and um, you know, the opportunity to get a couple of those guys is, is important because they're going to elevate our entire team. Um, uh, Carrillo, in particular, with the unexpected loss of, of Alexi, um, you know, we immediately get a, a proven goal scorer. We do have opportunities with FC Juarez with some quality players going back and forth, and we're very lucky to have that. But there's no way we would have been bringing Leandro and Adair here if we didn't think they were going to fit in character-wise. Carrillo is awaiting league and federation approval as he awaits his visa, but a huge pickup for this locomotive team.